Real Skaters, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today is the next installment of this little competition series I have going on. And we're gonna be picking up where we left off on Sunday. So if you were here on Sunday, you'll have seen me make this costume. It's actually a unitard. It's got pants and the bodice put together. Now this is the first time I'd ever done this and I also dyed the fabric. So if you want to follow along and see how I put this costume together, you can pop over to Sunday's video. But today we are going to be stoning this dress. We're going to be putting all those final embellishments on it. I do not think a costume is competition ready until it has a good number of stones. It needs to have some shine, has some movement out on the ice. So today we are going to be putting some crystals on this. Now I do not have a lot of time. We, I am competing in this costume in two and a half days. Oh my goodness. It has been a, it has been quite a journey trying to get ready for this event, but I've got two and a half days, but stones need about 24 hours to cure. So I need to get this whole costume done in a day and a half. I've got some amazing plans. So let's see how fast I can get this cool costume stoned. So let's get started with the supplies for this project. I have a lot of different stones. Here we have hyacinth. This bright orange is gonna be my primary color. I love the idea of the contrast with this dark red burgundy type color. So I have quite a lot of these. I have them in both 20s. I have 10 gross in 20 and two gross in size 30. And then I have this package of topaz shimmer in size 20. There's five gross of this. I have this package of two and a half gross of a dark cyan from a Christmas project a few years ago and in a size 20. So I think I'm gonna pull these out. I'm super excited about these star cut crystals. This is a light cyan color. And then this last one is actually light cyan AB. So it's the same base color as this traditional light cyan, but since it's an AB, when you move it around, it gets a number of different colors that reflect off. You'll see blues, oranges, pinks, reds, and so that's gonna be a really cool contrast. And then of course, we have my E6000 glue in clear and my wax tip pusher that I can gonna use to apply. And I always put my glue on with a craft syringe. So that's all of the supplies we've got for this project today. I'm gonna to start with the Topaz Shimmer. That is a sort of light orangey color in a size 20. And I'm using this to line all of these cutouts. So everywhere we have a cutout, I will just put a solid line all the way around the costume. Flipping it over, we're gonna use that same topaz shimmer to line the entire back. That way both the front and back sort of flow together and we have a lot of continuity throughout the entire costume. So the topaz shimmer is done. It looks really, really good. It's just a nice subtle contrast. I have all of the cutouts lined on both the front and the back. Now it's time to move on to these gorgeous light cyan star cut crystals. I'm so excited to see how these look on the dress. So I don't have a lot of them. I have to be really careful with how I use them, but I'm gonna use them to accent the neckline on both the front and the back of this costume. So I'm gonna just kind of set them on here. I've counted out how many to use for the front and how many I can use on the back. So I'm just gonna set them on here and figure out exactly what my spacing is gonna look like using just a few stones to do the whole job. Once I have my spacing figured out, I'm gonna actually glue them in place and then I'm gonna go in with a needle and thread and stitch all of the rest of them on. They have a little stitching hole on each tip, so that can anchor them on. They could be just glued, but when you glue and stitch, the two different mounting mechanisms sort of work as a backup for each other. And here you can see they are all anchored on there onto the front. They're glued and then stitched, and then I'm gonna flip the dress over and you can see that I've put them across the back as well. Now we're going to add some of these hyacinth stones around the neckline. I'm also gonna use some of the light cyan and the AB cyan. So we're gonna use all the different sizes, colors. It's gonna be a very cool, a very hot neckline. 
So here you can see the pattern that I'm creating. I have got the topaz shimmer. So I have next the topaz shimmer, I've got the 20s in the hyacinth, then I have 30s in the light cyan AB, then I'm alternating between 20s and 30s of the hyacinth again. And then I have a line on the outside of the light cyan AB in size 20. So that's gonna sort of seal up the outside of this pattern. So we actually have four different colors on this neckline in three different sizes or shapes. Having all of that different color and size and shapes creates a lot of interest. Light is gonna be reflected in a lot of different ways and wow, 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 I love how this neckline is looking. It's done, that big dropped neckline looks exactly how I want it. It's always so nice when what you envision in your head turns out. Now we just have to copy that same neckline around the back. So I'm just gonna use that same exact pattern with the same alternating of sizes and colors. So it is a fluid transition from front to the back. Now we're gonna work on the little flame cutouts along the side. I'm going in with my 20s and 30s in the hyacinth color. They're just alternating every other one, 20, 30, 20, 30, all the way around that little edge. It gives it a little bit of a ruffly look. It's not as perfectly even, and wow, I'm running out of glue so fast. So now what we're gonna do is apply two little drops of glue next to each 30. On the closer one, we're going to be putting the light cyan AB in a 20, and on the farther away dot, we're using the hyacinth in a 20. And this is the almost completed back. We have the neckline, we've got both of the flames, and we've got the cutouts. Now it's trying to copy that same pattern from the flame cutouts on the sides around to the front. So again, we're gonna start with a alternating 20 and 30 in the hyacinth, all the way around to give it a kind of textural look next to our topaz shimmer. So here we have that first layer done with those alternating sizes in the same color. And then we're gonna copy that same alternating light cyan and hyacinth in the size 20s that we did on the back. And oh, I'm so happy with how those cutouts look. Super, super pretty. I love the sort of lacy look. It's looks like my torso is gonna be on fire in the very best way possible. And we still need to attack these shoulders. I have a really cool idea. I'm just hoping I have enough stones. So I'm gonna use all the different stones, plus I'm gonna pull in the dark cyan. Wow, I am in love with these shoulders. So everywhere on this costume, you can see I've really alternated the colors and the size so that you have a lot of visual interest. I want it to really move when I'm on the ice. So having all of those different sizes and colors and patterns is gonna give it a lot of visual texture. Now we're gonna move on to the seam line where the bodice and the pants meet. Again here, I'm gonna really try to create a lot of visual texture by using different colors, different sizes, and a unique pattern so that we really have a lot of visual interest. And now we are going to work on the pants on the hips. I'm using this dark cyan color. It's like a Christmassy red. It's left over from a Christmas project. I'm gonna to try to bring it over here on the hip. I don't want it to be perfectly even. I want it to kind of have a bit of a swoop. And so we're gonna go ahead and play around with stones. I've got about two and a half gross here left over, so I've got a lot to work with in a really small space. Hopefully I can create a nice pattern with these stones. We're just about done here. I'm pretty happy with how this looks, but I'm just gonna look over the entire costume and see if there's anything that needs to be evened out, anything that sort of feels like there's missing areas, and then it'll be time for the big reveal. And here is the finished outfit. Oh my gosh, it turned out fantastic. I had this idea, right? The leggings and the leotard sewn together, but I'd never done it before. And so for it to turn out this cool, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, there's always little tiny things that you can see that, or that I can see as the person making it that I want to improve on next time. But for the first time doing a one piece outfit like this, I am thrilled with how it came out. I think these cutouts look great. This is a technique I'd done before, and I'm really excited with how it turned out on this outfit. And uh, so 
all in all, I'd say that this is a fantastic success. So let's look into the numbers. How many stones are on this dress? We started out with 26 and a half gross total stones. So 22 and a half of the size 20 in four different colors, Hyacinth, Light Siam AB, Topaz Shimmer, and the Dark Siam. And then we have four gross in the size 30, that's a little larger, in Hyacinth and the Light Siam AB. And then we had 24 pieces of the Star Cut Crystals in the Red Light Siam. So that's 26 and a half gross. Now I'm estimating we used about 24 and a half gross. If you look at these bowls here, this is what I have left. Most of them are the 20s in the hyacinth, but you can see all the rest of the bowls are almost empty, just enough there to fill in holes if any of the stones pop off in the future. If you look at these, the topaz shimmer, there's only seven stones left. So with 24 and a half gross actually on the dress. That's 3,528 stones. And wow, it makes a huge impact. This costume matches so well with my fiery music. I cannot wait to take this costume out competition day. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed this video, this little video series of making and then stoning this competition outfit. The competition is coming up this weekend. Oh my gosh, I got this done just in time. So if you want to watch the competition vlog and the finished uh, programs, you want to come back on Sunday the 23rd where I will be posting that to this YouTube channel. All right, if you enjoyed this, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments in that section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.